two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. <laughs> G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to the sponsors of the channel, my boy Fast Classic. This mixtape is in the description box. It is absolutely free. Definitely give him a download, give him a listen. And my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at We All From. Now, before I even start talking about the Devin Haney and Zayor Abdullah fight, Big shout out to Matchroom Boxing, man. Big shout out to Eddie Hearn, man. And I'm going to tell you guys why. For the people that's been on my channel from the jump, you know, I love you guys. The people that just came in, I love you guys. And I take a lot of pride in this channel and what is developing with this channel. Now, this fight will always be a historic fight for me and G5 Jeff TV is because this is the first time that I got approved for a media credential. Like I was actually media. You know what I'm saying? Like got invited to a fight as media. So that's the first time that ever happened for G5 Jeff TV. So that's a monumental moment. So that's a monumental moment for us. Now, Things didn't go right during that day, and it was a whole bunch of stuff. I had to work. I had to travel out there, and equipment was fucked up, and it, it was just a real bad situation. But just being in the building and just getting the, the essence of it, it really just confirmed how much I love boxing and as much as I criticize like a Dan Raphael from ESPN in terms of some of his opinions, like he has like my dream job, like, you know what I'm saying? To get paid, to cover the sport that you love. Like it just makes me want to drive that much harder to achieve my goal, to get paid for the sport that I love to watch, which is boxing. And even if I don't get paid for it, which I'm not getting paid for it now, I would still talk about boxing till the day I'm gone. So this was a victory for the channel. This was a victory for G5 Jeff TV. This was a victory for the whole G5 Jeff TV family. Promise y'all the next time when I actually get a media credential, I will be well prepared and I'll have some great content from the fight. But to close that out, let me tell y'all how I found out that I even got the media credential. My homie, My Sports, I mention him all the time. Big shout out to My Sports. That's my little bro. That's the homie. Now, he hit me and was like, yo, like, did you get credentials um, for another fight? And um, he was talking about the Arthur Baturbia fight that's supposed to be going down in my city of Philly. And I said, you know what, bro? I said, let me go ahead and check my email. And I checked my email and I seen I got the credential for the Devin Haney fight. And I was like, wow, like, that's crazy. And that's how I found out. And I found out the day before the fight happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so it just goes to show how crazy things can get. But it was a proud moment for me, man. Like, I, I called my, you know, my main people, you know, my sports and uh, my homie Blunt called him up. And, you know, my homie Matt. Uh, my boy Fast Classic, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's just the start of um, bigger and better things for the channel. But I had to give y'all that little bit of a tidbit. But Devin Haney made easy work of uh, Zayur Abdullayev. And I was impressed, man. Like, I was impressed big time. Like, Devin Haney is a lot faster in person. Like he, like he look fast on TV, but he's he hella fast in in person. Like I'm like my goodness, like I knew he was gonna have a speed advantage, but I thought Abdullayev had a chance to make it very competitive. So the fact that he got Abdullayev up out of there in four rounds, like is crazy. Broke his orbital bone and everything. Like it's 
I, I was highly impressed, man. I was highly impressed. Um, Abdullayev ain't nothing to play with. And Devin Haney just went in there and just picked him apart. Just picked him apart. And Devin Haney actually called out Vasil Lomachenko because Devin Haney is Vasil Lomachenko's mandatory. Now, I have a weird feeling that eventually Vasil Lomachenko was going to let that belt go. And they're going to give Devin Haney the actual title or have him fight for the title. And I think they're going to pull a Canelo Alvarez and give uh, Lomachenko a, a franchise belt. I think other um, sanctioning bodies are going to start doing that, um, even though WBC birthed it. I think other sanctioning bodies are going to start doing that. And I think they... The WBC did it in the Canelo situation to shut Jamal Charlo up, basically. And I think this could be a similar situation. And I'm not saying that Vasil Lomachenko can't beat Devin Haney or he's ducking um, Devin Haney like a lot of people are saying. I think Vasil Lomachenko would get in with anybody. But uh, from a Bob Arum top rank perspective, um, I mean, the fight to them I guess it'll probably be too much risk and not enough reward. I think if Devin Haney had another belt, I think Vasil Lomachenko and uh, Bob Arum would go for it. But the fact that he doesn't have a belt and Vasil Lomachenko was the older fighter, I think they're just looking to maximize what he can do um, going forward. But I would love to see that fight. I would love to see Vasil Lomachenko and Devin Haney and – I'm going to keep it real. I think he's ready. I think he's ready. You know, I'm going to keep it 100. I think Devin Haney is ready for that fight. Um, do I think he can win that fight? He would be the underdog. He would be the underdog for sure. Like, I would say probably, um, I would say maybe 65-35, 70-30, Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's no knock against Devin Haney. I, I just think Lomachenko's that good. You know what I'm saying? I think he's that good. But Devin Haney's calling out Vasil Lomachenko. And there's some people out here that think Vasil Lomachenko was ducking. And I personally don't think so. But I do want to see Vasil Lomachenko against some top flight guys. And Devin Haney is a young top flight guy. And then me personally... If I was Devin Haney and his team, I wouldn't take that fight with Vasil Lomachenko. I think it's too many things he can do right now without taking a Vasil Lomachenko fight. But I think they're aiming for that fight because I heard Devin Haney say in an interview that he has, it's not easy for him to make 135. Like, he's a big 135. Like, he could see himself moving up to 140 and possibly even 147. So I think he's just trying to maximize his opportunity at 135 right now before his body tells him he has to move up. Like, Devin Haney is hella young, like hella young. And his body is still filling out. I think Devin Haney, before it's all said and done, is going to be at 154 pounds. You know, I think he can get up to 154 pounds once his body fills out, like later on in his career. But I think in his prime, he going to be fighting at 140, 147 for sure. And, I mean, Devin Haney and most of the world noticed that Vasil Lomachenko and Bob Arum is not going to take that fight. They're going to work their way around that fight. So, if you Devin Haney, why not use Vasil Lomachenko's name to prop your name up? I mean, Devin Haney's done it before. He did it with uh, Robert Bunny Easter. You know, he did it with Javante Tank Davis. Um... Brian Garcia, like, I mean, this kid is really promoting his name and promoting himself. So I just think it's a promotional tool as well. I think Devin Haney do want that smoke, but I think more so than that, I think it's just a promotional tool for Devin Haney. And, and why not? I mean, why not use it? There's no harm in it at all. But again, big shout out to Match Room Box and big shout out to um, Eddie Hearn for giving G5 Jeff the opportunity to be media at this fight um uh, big shout out to Devin Haney he looked hell of hell of impressive in that fight 
And um, hopefully Abdullayev will recover from his injury and come back bigger and better than ever. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.